Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi. Folks, we sell some of everything. We principally sell motorhomes, we sell lots and lots of diesel trucks, but we also sell a very eclectic mix. We buy things that we like, that we think our customers will like. Sometimes we buy things that we don't know a whole lot about. We just have to show you what we're selling. Today we're going to sell one of the coolest things we've had, one of the only things like it we've ever had. We're going to sell a van that belonged to uh, WLBT Channel 3 here in Jackson, Mississippi. We bought a new one. So this is it's absolutely perfect. It's got more things than you can imagine. To duplicate this van, goodness knows what it would cost. We don't know uh, what application it would have from television stations, radio stations, small media outlets, or whatever I mean park in front of your business yeah, raise that mast up and hang a gonna, sign off you're of it be able to save a lot of money on this it's gonna be a great buy but God knows what it costs new it's a 2010 2000 2000 I'm sorry it's a 2000 Ford van e350 e350 do you want to do this at this kind well, do I need to it's a well uh -uh. 2000 it's a 2000 Ford E350 van, folks. It's only got 37,000 miles on it. You can see right here, it's got the Triton V10 engine in it. Only 37,000 miles. Now, we're going to have to show you all the things associated with this. But from right here, let me just show you. This mass, uh, God knows how high it will go. That is, the, that is as high as we've got the nerve to race it. It's windy. Yeah, and on top of it, of course, you put your, an antenna goes. They've taken that off. You now, could put a, a stunt man, uh, let your freak flag well, fly. You, know, you could, uh, uh, we've had so much trouble about it. You could put somebody waving the rebel flag, or I guess all of our customers come from the north anyway. You could raise the Union Jack or whatever you wanted to do up there. But anyhow, also on top of it, you see that platform. That is built over the air conditioning. It has a roof air conditioning system as well as dash air. And that is about this thick so you can stand on it. Cameramen can stand on it and work on it. Now that's what that's for. You see at the bottom of the mast there, that's your power cable. We, under, we, I, I, we assume that's what you hook the satellite up to. It's sitting on a perfect set of matching Bridgestone tires. Like I say, only 37,000 miles. So wherever you are in the country, you feel safe that it'll take you home. It's also got a 6,000 Honda generator, a 6KW Honda generator that is liquid cool which calms the noise down even further than quiet Hondas. So this, this Honda generator cost a zillion dollars. Now we don't know how many hours, how many hours you... I think it's got an electronic meter right now. It's reading RPMs. I don't know how to switch it, but I, it flipped over the other day and it was reading, I think either five or 600 hours. Anyway, it, it ain't much. a lot of time on it for a Honda generator, but it's slick as an onion all over. Come on, we'll show it to you. Uh, uh, there's no pecks and dings. There's one little spot right here that the camera probably not going to show. But you can look inside here. It's windows, door locks, tilt, cruise. It's got everything you'd want. The seats are brand new. It's carpeted back here, sound uh, to deaden the sound, I guess. What is this on top of the dash? You That's can crank the generator. It's got warning lights if the mast is up or the jacks are down. Uh, it's just a little... I guess this is a sound hand. system, an outside sound system. You could put a big speaker up on that thing and drive around and let people know uh, what you yeah, think. You could. What's in here? Let's, let's check all the stuff out. We've never had anything like this. Before. This, I think, is for the jacks. Yeah. And this is a high dollar conversion by a company called Frontline. You can see every little door has two switches. One is to warn you on the dash if it's open if, before you drive off. And every every little compartment's got a little light in it. I forgot to mention, folks, and I should have, but I'm very simple with so much stuff outside. Right. This van has jacks on it. Like a big motorhome, it has jacks. 
and I assume that's to stabilize it, of course, while you're broadcasting from inside or wherever. This is uh, uh, pumps or something. This is an air compressor, I think. Uh, G motors and industrial systems. Well, whatever it is, it's working. That is an air compressor. I PSI, 40 PSI. Uh, Whoever buys this will know what it is. Heck if I, oh, I think I think the mass runs off air pressure. That's I think it it's air operated. But that mass goes up down. Here's your ladder to climb up there and look so around. You can see that platform. Hold on, hold on. Climb up there and let me run the pole down and you sit on it. This thing has got, look up here folks, it has got an exotic, you can see what a frame, Dan this frame, uh, no telling what that cost to build. That is some kind of heavy duty frame. And this around the edge is just uh, dirt. dirt. Now here is your power cable. Well, no, this is like the the TV the cable, yeah. I think. I think that's to hook the cameras. Yeah, it's got an electric motor on it. You can see all the like cam one, cam two, uh, slow and fast. I guess this thing runs at different speeds. I don't know how it works. This is a little platform. I don't know I where think it goes. It probably sets up on top. Oh wait, yeah, it hooks in these slots. So you can set something on here. Um, but you see it's immaculate in here. There's the mast. Everything is carpeted, panel, lighted. Well, it's, it's, it's insulated. They have done that for sound. And the sound. This generator, you can hear it quite as it can be, folks. Uh, it is a Honda. See what RPM is running. Now that'll somehow flip to ours. I don't know how. We're not smart enough to do it. And here's your power switch. Now I'm gonna lower the mast. Oh yeah, it's coming down. See the mast coming down? We were kind of sweating whether it would come down or not. Uh, hang on, let me show something else. That's okay. You can see it's got your jack controls, uh, more camera hookups, telco hookups. I guess you're going to be spending a lot of time somewhere. It's got a plug if you want to get an outside shore power cable instead of running the generator. Oh, Come on down, baby. Down. You may have to shimmy up there like a monkey and jump on it. Too. Look, I can. Look how, look how that frame is built. You can put a whole tribe on top of that. Inside here, folks. Well, that, that's not politically correct. Let's I'm, say posse. Okay. Uh, uh, you'll have to take our word that we don't know what this is. We're guessing this is some kind of monitor system. Here you have six cameras. Those are your monitors, all your different feeds. You got a control panel, that flashing light shows you the mast is up. But you can switch between generator and outside power. You can see 120 AC volts, 60 hertz, uh, 14 and a half DC volts. So everything's charging like it should. Uh, there's something to do with rotation. I don't know what. You got your uh, storage, storage cabinets, fire extinguisher, got an ice cold roof air that does work. Now there's a hole right here. I guess they had a, a table or something maybe mounted yeah, right here. No, they ran some kind of cable through that object. Or cable feed. Yeah. There's more outlets under the seats. I mean, there's outlets everywhere. The mass came down, thank God. Got your fire extinguisher. Yeah, um, we. Uh, that's the first time we raised it. Got all these extra antennas up top. Got your. Um, I clean this thing. It's got your manuals on the seat. Seats don't have any rips or tears. No smoke odors, obviously. No. That wouldn't be politically correct for our television station. These are LT tires, Bridgestones. They're Look heavy down duty. The side, there's no rock picks, no road picks. I mean. Uh, Cut this stuff off while I'm thinking about it. No, that's all. I didn't. As I said, folks, everything appears to work. It runs and drives like a new one. 
uh, and once again, of course, Dan's going to say 888000 God knows what this thing costs. I looked around, a new one is like 350000 Well, this is a 2000 folks. Uh, folks, we, those of you out there, you're going to have questions. Uh, give us a call. Give Dan a call, 601-720-2857. 601-720-2857. If you have a question about it, he's going to have a low reserve on it. If you want to know what it takes to buy it before the sale's over, give him a call. 601-720-2857. Now, he's a lawyer, so like all lawyers, he's a little casual about answering his phone. But I'm his father, so if you can't get him, you give me a call and I'll track him down. 601-218-1223. 601-218-1223, that's Bob Dale, you can call me anytime. If I don't answer my phone, I will in fact call you back. Uh, but that's what we know about it. We like it a lot. It's, I mean, it's interesting to us. We, and someone needs this. I mean, I, but it's a 2000 Ford E350 van, folks. It's only got... It's only got 37,000 miles on it. It's got a Honda generator. You see it running there. You could gut it and just make a camper out of it. It'd be worth more. I mean, you, uh, uh, tailgate. Yeah, what we what we gonna sell it for? But it's got every the, the mast on it, all that. The camp, the monitoring systems on the inside, overhead air. I bet you, if you built that rack, you would spend. Five, six, seven thousand dollars just for that rack. It's buy on people. No telling what that rack costs. It's sitting on a good set of Bridgestone tires, obviously belonging to these people. It wasn't individually owned, so it was perfectly maintained. It's it's pick proof. Now all the equipment, you'll know more about it than we do. But it's a it's a neat item. We like it a lot. You talk about save some money. This is going to be the bargain on eBay. If you have need for this, it will be the best bargain we've ever sold. It's a cool van. Give us a call if you have questions about it. If you want to know what it takes to buy it, give us a call. We appreciate you watching this video, folks. Thank you so much for bearing with us while we try to tell you what we're trying to sell. We look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. I think that post will go about twice as high. I do too. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this van. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. Before I do, just want to nitpick one thing. You'll see these windows are tinted. We put a new power window regulator in it and it got a little scratch in the tent. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you want, we can have the pull the tent completely off but just wanted to point it out you can see no warning lights lit I'm not the stickers aren't hiding anything back behind them that's just the uh, the little warning lights now that 13 foot clearance it's got more clearance than that now because you know it doesn't have the gigantic satellite dish sitting on top of that pole assembly so it's more like 11 I would think but um, you can see, you've got stereo cassette. Here's all your warnings, like if the mast is up, stuff like that. It, it'll let you know. You'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. So the video may come out a little shaky, but rest assured, the van has a great ride and drive in person. Of course, it's only got 37,000 miles, so. That's uh, just pretty much what you would expect it to have. And of course, the other thing you can take away from all these bumps I'm hitting is that the van's tight. It doesn't make a lot of racket. Now there is a little, they have a little roll around chair back there that um, you may want to take out or screw down or whatever, because it kind of rolls around when you're driving, but um, no actual thunks in the suspension anything like that the only other thing that I can nitpick about this van is that the air is ice cold but sometimes it just blows out of the defrost 
and sometimes it'll come on out through the vents. It's, you know, they have a little vacuum system to control the, uh, the doors and the ductwork and it may have a little leak somewhere. And I'm gonna try to get that fixed, but I can't make any promises. So just in case I don't, just bid to assume that, you know, the, the air may be blowing out of the defrost when you get it. But the air is ice cold and it works. So nothing to worry about with that. Sometimes I'm, if you flip it back and forth between normal and max, it'll start working. So just a little vacuum leak. And I try not to nitpick every last thing on these just because I don't hate to make it sound bad, but um, it's not really that bad. We just know that most of our customers are from out of state and they're buying sight unseen so if there's a nit to be picked we try and go ahead and pick it just so nobody gets mad at us over a rock pick or something minor the windshield's brand new uh had that put in so the only other thing we've done like i said we uh put a new power window motor and regulator on this driver's door and um that's pretty much it you can see it drives down the road just like it should this isn't a stripped down work van, it's an uh, XLT, so it's got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, all that good stuff. Uh, doesn't pull to the left or right when you're going down the road. It doesn't uh, vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes. All that's in good shape is, you know, local TV station, they obviously took good care of it. And of course, being here locally, obviously it hadn't had a lot of miles put on it because it didn't have to go very far. So uh, we'll get up to highway speed real quick and just show you. It is the V10, so it's got a ton of power. And, you know, that's the same engine they put in the 40-foot motorhomes that we, we usually sell. So, you know, that alone should tell you how strong this, this drivetrain is. If you can pull a 40-foot motor home, it'll yank this uh, van around like it ain't nothing. And um, if you want to fly in, drive this van home, you can. We'll pick you up at the airport, bring you back to our place, do all the paperwork and feedback and everything, make it a, a smooth, easy transaction. Um, we do it all the time. We'll do all the paperwork and feedback, let you get on the road. But we also understand a lot of you, most of our customers, in fact, are from up north and they're buying from us. Well, first of all, because we've got great deals, but second of all, because uh, our vehicles don't have any rust. So we understand not everybody has time to fly in and spend the day or two or three on the road driving home. So what we've done, we can now offer shipping. And the way that works is if you go online and you look at these guys that have shipping quotes, don't let those prices scare you because most of them aren't really shippers, they're brokers. They don't have a fleet of trucks. All they do is charge you several hundred dollars and then post your shipment on this one website that all these independent companies use. And so depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you up to half off of the average online quote and we at least save you two or 300 right off the bat because we, we'll post them on the same site. We pay the, the gigantic monthly fee they charge to be a member and have gone through all the hoops and hurdles to join. But we'll post it on there for free. We don't have a markup on shipping. So all you do, we'll arrange it for you, get it picked up. And when the driver drops it off, you just pay him and that's it. So um, like I said, we make it a smooth deal. Right now, I'm doing 70 miles an hour. Cruise is on. Going down the road just like it should. Engine's tight, no exhaust leaks or anything. No warning lights on. Um, but like I said, on shipping, simple deal. Keep you from having to fool with any of it or worry about it. We'll take care of everything, make all the arrangements, or 
you know, you're welcome. If you want to make the arrangements yourself, you can. Um, doesn't matter to us either way. So, um, be glad to let you do it. You can see we've been driving nearly 10 minutes and there's no warning lights on, no airbag lights, no brake lights, engine lights, any of that. I like to show the dash after I've been driving it a little while because you know, it's easy to hook a scanner up and turn a light off for a minute and take a picture. But if, you, if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, then it's gonna come right back on after you start driving it. So that's why we like to drive it and then show you so you can see that there's no issues with any of that. Got a microphone up there for something. Um, I guess it had a, has or had, I'm not sure which, a CB or that may be a, a PA system of some sort. But uh, if you have any questions about this van, give me a call. My number is 601-376-9869. If you want to make an offer, call me. If you um, you know want to talk pricing, want to talk shipping, any of that, just give me a call. Uh, if, if you're interested in shipping, quote, if you shoot me a text or a email or call me with your zip, I'll give you a good ballpark on shipping, what it's going to cost you, and if you are near Atlanta or Dallas or pretty much if you're in anywhere in the entire state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So just contact me and I'll, I'll explain it all to you. But beyond that, if you have any questions about this van, call me. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching our video and I look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. We're gonna show you, you see the jacks coming down picking it up, raising back closed. And like I thought, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, the mass does run off a compressor. So we got that figured out. Just wanted to add this to the video. Thanks.